So last week I built some SSD iPods and it went really well. Like I really hope that because a few weeks ago I ran Windows off of this 60 gig iPod photo super chunga special. And uh, it was awesome. If awesome stood for terrible, but it worked and it was funny and that's all that matters. At the time we wanted to test it against my SD card flashed iPod, but um, yeah, boot sector problem so it didn't work. But now I've got iPods with PC SSDs. I had to come back, right? Thing is, I originally set up to play Skyrim off of these and compare which one did better because this worked with Rocket League, albeit barely, but each match is pretty small, so light times were okay. As long as you got in before the cutoff with multiplayer, you were good. I was even MVP of the match, mate. But surely a big open world game like Skyrim would thrash this thing. So after firing it up and waiting forever, I then went to install Skyrim and no lie, it took over an hour to merely allocate the space, nor install it, merely think about where to put it. It was actually pathetic and a good omen really for whatever jank mess I was going to be in for when I finally got into the game. There it is. I remember the game being bigger than this. D oh, that's not good. And then uh, unexpectedly, it ran fine. I mean, totally fine. Oh, here we go. The loading begins. Whoa! We're playing Skyrim on the pod! Oh, treasures. Dingers. Even warping across the world where everything needs to reload, it was even auto saving! Guys, Skyrim is running just fine. Dingus! Oh no! Everything was great, except for the time it spawned me directly in front of a bear. <laughs> then I remembered that Skyrim is a really old game. Fuck it, I haven't played the new Doom yet, and it was on sale on Steam for half price, but sadly the big games are too big for this guy. I mean, it's only got 60 gigs, and a lot of that is taken up by Windows. I mean, I really did try to clean up space to get it on here. This is really my only mechanical drive iPod working at the moment, but it's cool. I'll make it up to you. Let's play Doom off of this. Yep. M. SSD and beautifully designed. So the 60 gig mechanical drive took over an hour to merely allocate how much space needed for nine gigos of Skyrim. Now Doom is 40 gigs, but my regular Samsung 860 SSD allocates space in about a minute and a half for that. The Shrek pod's rocking an M.2, mate. I mean, only SATA, but an M.2, mate. Two hours, two hours, not to install it, just Thinking about where Doom goes. If it was putting groceries away, they'd be spoiled. And uh, it was a little bit scary too, as iFlash says not to sync these for longer than two hours. <laughs> and at this stage, it'd already been installing Windows for two hours already. So it was four hours in. But thankfully, it did not get hot or anything, to be honest. Obligatory freedoms. It was midnight at this point, where it was finally done allocating space and it was downloading. So it had an hour and a half left to go. So as a safety net, I set up a three hour limit for the computer to go to sleep and this guy to take a break. I didn't want this chooching all night and who knows what's what. So I set it up for the night and I hit the sack. Q5 in the morning. When I'm awakened by the sound of beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. It's like someone's old Nokia set to alarm in another room somewhere. Well, uh, turns out when the computer went to sleep, the iPod decided to stay awake and boot loop all night. And it was beeping as it was so low on batteries, it was screaming out for help. And um, remember when iFlash said not to run the SSD iPod's battery down too far so it can freak out the SSDs and lose all your data? It's dead, guys. A literal working day's worth of syncing and installing and it decides to stay awake in the night and kill itself. It was really like a goldfish that jumped out of its bowl. If only I was there to save it. it <laughs> this was actual the worst because I'm already real in deep playing around with this thing and the weekly deadline for these vids is looming and I was, I'd was i put so much into this. I mean, what an investment, mate. That's what this channel's all about. Why isn't it working properly? But luck favors the prepared. As I'd also installed Windows, on the MSATA iPod. The show goes on. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. You wanna know the weirdest bit? 
the M Sider was the fastest by far. The M.2 was actually not that much faster than this guy. <laughs> Steam is actually a great benchmark for this because the 60 gig and M.2 drives, the network had to keep stopping to let the drive play catch up. Here's the M Sider. It hit that sweet spot where its drive speed was close to my network speed. 60 gig, uh, three to four megabytes a second. The M.2, like four to five megabytes a second. And look out, ladies and gentlemen, this puppy came in at 17 to 18. Megabytes a second. But enough of this, Dootlin. What fair to play? Doom! It installed, and it was time to ruin its first impression with me by playing it through an iPod's motherboard. <laughs> Direct X took fat. Ever. But mercifully, it booted up. Legit, it was so unresponsive on this first opening screen that it wouldn't let me do anything. Turns out it was waiting for all the Bethesda junk to load in. <laughs> Guys, why is the mouse like I'm gonna write? Doom! Oh, look, we got percent go! Synchronize! Shoot that dome! Shoot that dome! <laughs> At one percent, so is the hardest, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> And anyone curious on the computer that I'm running, it's just a 9th gen Core i3, 16 gigs RAM, and a GTX 1660 in it. Oh, and uh, an iPod as its hard drive. But no lie, once I got past that point, the game ran great. Do, do, boo, but that's the boo. Oh, heck yeah. I'm playing the dooms. Enjoy. Changed it. Oh. Uh. Guys, this is running seamless. I, I didn't notice anything obscene. I mean, surely it loads way slower than folks are used to. Going to the next stage? pretty seamless. Now I know you're all wondering what happens if you just yank the iPod out while playing. Well, you know what? I want to know too. Here we go. Oh, the music's gone. Oh, you just, you just hear the fires. All right, let's see how far we get. Hello. Oh, there's no more sounds. Uh-oh. Got him. Oh, I stink at this. I stink at this. We're still going, though. I'm just gonna lay it. I just hope the game freezes. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! Oh, no, look, we're back. <laughs> 16 gigs RAM, man. We're still going. Dingus. Oh, God. And it froze. <laughs> wow. Oh, I wish I didn't die. But you, I can't, I'm not good at the game. I can't beat it. It's a shame I stink at this game. But yeah, it runs out of the RAM until it's time to load stuff again. But I played for way longer than I thought, really. But finally, mission accomplished. Doom happened and it was through the iPod Classic running an SSD. That's metal, mate. Even if it wasn't this. Because I mean, the rest of the PC is totally up to date. It's only the iPod messing it up. It's like being teamed up with the roughest kid in the class who takes the most important responsibilities in the projects to prove everyone wrong, only then say, the potatoes you bought to grow in a drinking glass for Dragon Ball Z Tazos. But in terms of putting windows on these, they all sucked. They were all terrible. They all sat forever at the first screens waiting to get started. And uh, speaking about that, the only thing that really went wrong this whole time was honestly, Windows. I mean, not in a way that it didn't work or it was janky and there was something going wrong with this. It's honestly Microsoft's terrible direction with where they're taking Windows. I mean, honestly, this video took so long because of Windows' incessant automatic updates. You know, sometimes you just want to go straight to bed. But on Windows, no, nah, you have to do the update. And on these slow nuggets, it could be 20 minute turnaround. <laughs> God! Worse. After the Windows update, it reinstalled Edge on my computer and 
begged me to use it. Like, literally begged. There was no cancel or please don't install. It was get started. It's going all, with the browser that will protect your privacy. By forcefully installing its own software without my permission. Done that reek of dodgy? Worse, you can't uninstall it. Recommended by Microsoft. Of course they would. It's like me recommending my videos. Oh, they're good. That dude seems cool. And installing Windows this many times in a row reminds me of the dog dirt privacy options where you can't get rid of ads. You can only make them less relevant. I paid 220 Aussie bucks for this junk. My Windows running it like a freemium app. There's ads in my start menu. Get it! This is what happens when a big company gets lazy. Windows has no real competition. Apple makes macOS, but only for their own devices. And Nana's not going to do a Hackintosh, guys. It's not a real mainstream solution. If you want to play games and also have a regular computer, you get Windows. Every manufacturer builds for Windows. So why be good? It's in the bag. Get a dog up here, Microsoft. You honestly stink. Sorry for the rant, but holy Moses, there was some real late nights making this vid purely because I couldn't control the machine. It honestly added a day's worth of mucking around, and it just showed me how little control modern Windows gives you. It's like Facebook, the operating system. You can't delete it. Only Windows isn't free, so it's worse than that. So, which one of these is the best? Hmm? Which one should you build at home? None of them, no! These all suck! It's like judging the best plate of cat sick, and the winner is the one that's garnished with the freshest flies. This is a competition with no winners. Even though the M Sider pod did the best, it freaked out a couple of times. I've never seen a gray screen like this. And it's super fiddly. You have to make sure the iPod is already in disc mode before booting the machine, otherwise it's all out of sync. And the battery was totally flat, even being plugged in the whole time with a new battery in it. We all know what happens when you run the batteries down too low. <laughs> it's actual super dodgy. Knife edging this poor guy, it's always on that threshold of completely losing its marbles. <laughs> but I can't understate how slow these are. I mean, the best way to show you is to boot them up. MSATA pod, mate, the winner of the day, it's like 45 seconds. The 60 gig iPod, it's like four minutes, four dingus minutes. The Shrek pod, TKO. Gone. I waited forever to see if we can get some light back in it, and mate, she's gone. And uh, the benchmark, the Samsung 860, like just a SATA SSD, nothing special, uh, 12 seconds. And you can't log in straight away with these. You've got to wait a minute because it's literally getting its breath back from getting up to that point. <laughs> but it's all fun, isn't it? None of this data is useful and nothing I've done is even important. I mean, I've honestly just completely wasted your time and you can't get it back. I'm sorry. That's all that's left to say other than thanks for watching. Big thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. One dollar a month, I do extra vids. Look, here's a dollar. And this week's extra vid is... Uh. Get out, get out the way. Since we're looking at PCs, why not look at the OGs, mate? The VIC-20 color computer. It's even got sound. Look at these features. I've even got three boxed games to look at. Look at the, the, no way it's gonna look that good. No screenshots, by the way. <laughs> Look, home babysitter. Boomers can't get mad at us for our dependence on computers. They shoved us poor freaks in front of them. Number never shape grabber. Yes. So one dollar extra down on my Patreon. This video is already live right now. And I'll see you all next time. Oh, Windows. God, go away. Why can't I control this? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, show me one percent at least, please. One percent. One percent. Oh, I want to go to bed. Oh.